The Global Water Partnership Caribbean is the Caribbean arm of an international network which promotes and fosters Integrated Water Resources Management, IWRM. GWPC's largest program is its Water Climate and Development Program, WACDEP, aimed at building climate resilience in the Caribbean water sector. WACDEP is executed in partnership with the Caribbean Community Climate Change Centre. The latest WACDEP initiative is the Caribbean Regional Framework for Investment in Water Security and Climate Resilient Development. The framework provides an outline of critical climate resilience programs and projects, which CARICOM national stakeholders have identified as priority for implementation by regional institutions working on water security issues. Funding will be sought for the framework initiatives by regional agencies, singly or jointly, working with national counterparts. The framework's inherent coordination mechanisms will allow for better collaboration among regional agencies. It will provide potential funders with an overarching view of where the individual regional institution initiatives fit into the overall regional effort to build climate resilience in the Caribbean water sector. This video showcases the key elements of the regional framework with a view to enhance understanding of the initiative and assist in securing funding for its programs and projects. A lot of the national work on water and climate issues takes place through the work programs of regional agencies. So for example, a lot of work is done through regional programs or with the added technical assistance from the regional agencies. So after having spent a lot of time in developing capacity and knowledge sharing for water and climate, the next natural step for GWPC in terms of water and climate issues was to move away from knowledge sharing, regional cooperation, and into investment planning. Because at this point in time, the regional agencies, the national agencies, we all require funding to be able to translate what we know into practical steps towards water and climate resilience. The Caribbean Regional Framework for Investment in Water Security and Climate Resilient Development has been developed through an extensive process of consultation with national stakeholders, including workshops and surveys. National inputs were fed into regional discussions and shaped into the final investment framework. The partnership between Five Cs and the Global Water Partnership Caribbean, or GWPC, came out of a a need to give adequate and proper treatment to water resource management issues within the Caribbean. Water remains the single most important cross-cutting resource requiring attention of all agencies. It's a main link to our development. It's a main link to the sustainability of all our sectors and requires appropriate treatment to ensure that water remains at the forefront of our considerations, but at least in amounts that are required to support the actions of all our various sectors. Uh, Sydney Cayens in the Caribbean region has been working for more than six years. Uh, our work uh, mainly uh, has been to support um, the climate uh, framework of resilience of the region. And also we have been supporting in the development of um, risk uh, assessment for, for climate finance. We acknowledge uh, that water is a key element for the development for the economy and the well-being not only for the humans, it's also important for the ecosystem. The Regional Framework for Investment focuses on six thematic programs of action, which through consultations were identified as priority areas for investment at the regional level. They are climate resilient water infrastructure, water efficiency, reuse and augmentation, drought resilient water supplies, climate resilient agricultural water management, resilient and healthy water resources systems, and integrated flood management. Each thematic program of action is further elaborated into priority programs and specific projects for immediate implementation once funding is secured. Thus, for example, the drought resilient water supplies theme includes programs on water supply planning and drought management planning. Under the drought theme, the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, the OECS Secretariat, is seeking funding for a regional project on hydrogeological mapping in OECS countries. 
the Caribbean Disaster and Emergency Management Agency, SEDEMA, is seeking funding to implement a regional training project on drought management plans. The University of the West Indies is keen to implement integrated flood management projects focusing on flood hazard mapping and modelling in critical Caribbean watersheds. Floods are extremely important because they affect a large number of people um, substantially and one of the issues with climate change is that um, flooding may increase in future due to increased intensity or increased frequency of intense rainfall events which um, if you get a very uh, high amount of rainfall in a short space of time you, you tend to get a, 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 an increase in flood risk of localised flooding in certain areas um, which of course causes houses to flood and so on. So what we need is integrated flood risk management. The key word there, the operative word is integrated. Um, I think everyone would agree that flood risk management is important but if we don't do it in an integrated way then we risk um, perhaps increasing flood risk in, a, in a, an area downstream of the area that you're trying to protect. Because, for example, if you um, improve drainage in one area, then what you are doing is moving the water through that area much faster, and that could increase flood risk downstream. So one of the things that we would like to do is um, use these modelling tools and these kind of data, the LIDAR data, across the region, um, develop flood models um, to assess the flood risk, present day flood risk and future flood risk under climate change region-wide. The Caribbean, like the rest of the world, is waking up to the realities of climate change. The Caribbean Agricultural Research Development Institute, CARDI, is focused on initiatives for farm water use efficiency and water augmentation, including wastewater reuse. Water is critical. I mean, water, agriculture is the biggest user of water. And without it, we are not able to do what it is we have to do. Just by way of example. Over the last couple of years, the Potworks Dam in Antigua has been dry, which has caused them, for domestic purposes, to switch to almost 100% desalinated water. That, of course, deals with domestic supply. It leaves out the needs of the farming community. And if, therefore, we need to look at solutions, water solutions, for the farming community. Similarly, much of what it is we are doing these days, um, protected agriculture, use of drip irrigation technology, is about being able to more efficiently use this very, very scarce resource. And whereas we've done an excellent job of being able to introduce and to get farmers to, to utilize new technologies with respect to the management of their water resources, we need to take the thing a step further. As it stands right now, we turn on the pipe, whether it's drip irrigation or sprinkler, and we wet. What we now need to do is to look at water use efficiency related to specific commodities, specific varieties within those commodities, and specific ecosystems. The Regional Framework for Investment is a process which has been founded on a partnership approach and this principle will be carried forward into its implementation. Having produced the framework, regional institutions are now focused on securing funding to be followed by further program development and then implementation. The Regional Investment Framework for Climate and Water represents an incredible opportunity for the Caribbean. Once we get the projects and programs within that framework funded, the Caribbean will be so much better off in terms of our resilience to climate change issues. And one of the more amazing things about this initiative is the way all the regional organizations have come together to produce this framework. This is our concerted effort. This is what we as a group think needs to be done for climate resilience and water security issues. So let me also take this opportunity to say thank you to everybody, all the regional organizations who have participated in this venture. We really, really appreciate your effort. In general, uh, we have some exciting times ahead and we look forward to the future iterations of this work.